Hey everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Sid Meier's Railroads. In the last video that I posted, we finished up the Midwest United States campaign. Next, we're going to be heading to, well, there's the Midwest. Now we're going to head to the Northwest United States. This one is a little more difficult, and it may take a couple of rolls to get the right, uh, to get the right starting pro, uh, to get the right one to go with. Reason is, um, there's only uh, two landmark goals here. So we need to have a newspaper in Boise. We need to have 100 carloads of workers to Seattle, 40 carloads of paper to the newspaper in Boise. So Boise's down in this area on the map. Seattle is up here, Portland here. If you're familiar with Northwest geography, it's going to be too hard. So we've got the Columbia River going up here, a very exaggerated version of the Columbia. And we've got the Snake River going down this way. So Boise's down here, Spokane's over in this area. I think we have like Coeur d'Alene maybe. Uh, Bend, Oregon is down here, Salem. We're gonna have a lot of fish available as well. So we need a paper mill. So we need to buy a paper mill and a newspaper in Boise. I do not want to have a lumber mill in Boise for obvious reasons. Because I cannot move the paper that's produced in Boise to Boise itself. I actually have to move it into different locations. Uh, stimulating two villages into metropolises, that's pretty easy, actually. No, just send food. Send food, send people, send mail. They'll grow on their own. And then, uh, let's see, yeah, 40 carloads. The big thing with this one is the map is not the most forgiving. You're going to be building in pretty tight quarters, and I've got three opponents on this one. So let's see if I can get a decent roll on attempt one. All right, so we're going to be starting off in Spokane, and I'll immediately drop a pause in here. So I have a refinery, so to turn oil into manufactured goods, a steel or an automobile factory turning steel into cars, and a food plant turning grain into food. So the good news is I've got some grain up toward Vancouver and Moses Lake. That's another city that we have access to. Uh, Moses Lake is down here. It has a furniture plant and a power plant. Let's actually check into Boise. Boise, this is one that makes it kind of a pain in the ass. So it looks like uh, Jim Fisk starts here. He's got a cannery, and note all of the fish are on the coast, obvious reasons, and also a steel mill. Thankfully, we actually do have access to so that here. Lewiston has a paper mill. It's not bad. Uh, Missoula needs the paper, so I could, if I wanted to, go from Spokane, swing out to Missoula, um, they've got the steel mill, so I could take a track down here, swing the tracks back around to get the uh, coal from Lewiston and there, and then swing the track around, go to the Missoula Wood Company, go to Lewiston, go for the paper mill, and then make it down to Boise. Who's starting off in Bend, Oregon? J.P. Prompt Morgan is starting down in Bend. We also have Jordan Valley. I believe this is Utah. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure, actually, on that one. And then somebody... It starts in Portland, yes. Jay Gould starts off in Portland. So you got Olympia. There's no uh, Tacoma here. Uh, the San Juan Islands are pretty much these four rocks. You don't even have Vancouver, BC. Actually, no, Vancouver does show up here. And Vancouver's kind of tucked up there in between Seattle. You got the Fraser River Valley Gap and that here. So Seattle also has a steel mill, which I would totally use those for that. I'm not super happy with this roll, so I'm actually going to take another roll. I'll be back in a minute. All right, this roll I'm a little happier with. I'm starting in Spokane again, but I've got a refinery and a paper mill. I've got a refinery access here, but I also have a paper mill, which goes towards my goal. I've got access to lumber down here for Lewiston and also for Missoula. Uh, Missoula could also convert it into paper. The problem is Missoula has a cannery, and the cannery is going to be useless to me. So what I'm thinking is maybe... Spokane out to Missoula, and then swing the Missoula line down to Boise. There's a newspaper in Lewiston, but we're not going to utilize that. And I'm pretty much just going to run straight up against uh, Jim Hill. Uh, they have a power plant, which takes coal and oil. So when I take over, when I take him over, I'm going to have access to some really good uh, sources. Because these are both, let's see, large and large. I can get 12 out of each of these. So I got that there. Uh, who's down here? Jay Gould is starting off in Portland. And who's starting off in Bend? J. Pierpont Morgan. 
So, uh, fisheries. This is one we have not had yet so far in the game. Essentially, they will provide fish, they go to the canneries, they produce food, and Bob's your uncle. Um, this has a lumber mill and a power plant. What does Vancouver have access to? Okay, there's a few accesses for this as well. I want to try to go through the... I want to try to go through the gap. So this would, I guess, be like Stevens Pass, and this would be Snoqualmie Pass down here. This is Mount Rainier. And Mount St. Helens, even though it is 1850, Mount St. Helens is below its top for 130 years. All right. So for this, I think just starting off, we need the paper into the paper mill. And Moses Lake, this needs the refinery. Hmm. Damn. Okay, so I do not want to... I could use this paper mill, go to Missoula, and start hooking up the paper. Got a lot of paper available to me. It's just the routing's a pain in the ass right now. Um, how do I want to start this? Got coal up here. Steel mill. Okay, Moses Lake Steel Mill needs coal. Now I'm going to go into Lewiston. So, like I said, this one takes a lot of planning to actually get what you want going. So I'm thinking, what does Vancouver need? Vancouver needs food and paper. We're still paused. I can make this work. Okay. Let's go ahead and play. Unfortunately, I do have to do a tunnel if I want to make this work. Did I already screw up? No, I think I'm fine. Okay. I'll go ahead, get a train here. Oh, he's a 440 American, and this is a paper mill at 84,000. I don't have enough for it, so let's go here, 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 here. Sell some of my stocks. Get this paper mill early so I can start utilizing it. Okay, Jay's going into it too. I need to go for Jim Hill. That's who I need to knock out first. He's hooked up the coal company across the Snake River. Okay, so a couple of things happened at the same time there. Um, soaring profits make pulp out of opposition. That's me buying the mill. Uh, mayor of Fossil has solicited help needs six carloads of coal. So now I'm going to start making money coming and going on this. Good things. If I wanted to, let's see, paper, yeah, Lewiston needs the paper. For now, I am going to hook it up. This way, I can start making money on both ends with it. If I somehow lose the bidding war for the paper mill, I don't worry about it. Missoula, I'm actually not super concerned about. Hate to say it. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to double track here when I get some money. I'll double track it, and then I'm going to have this one train do Lewiston and Missoula. And who needs feed? Moses Lake needs feed. So I may double track and swing around to hook that up. Let's double track this real quick before I forget. Do not have nearly enough money right now, so I'm gonna have to hold off. But whilst I can, let's absolutely hook that up so I have. Sweet! Moguls are available. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Look how fast, and you can see once you go to this map, you can see how vast the network's already gone. So Fossil's already been hooked up. Both Gould and I believe uh, Hill 
are now pulling from this one colliery, and Morgan is off doing its own thing. So yeah, J.P. Port Morgan, he's producing manufactured goods in Bend. Um, I think... Yeah. Um, Jim Hill is going to get some money off this. I'm actually buying some Jim Hill stock right now. Dick. I want to start buying him up. So I can get him out of the game as quickly as possible. Okay, bought. Let's see. Bought sold. I wish he would have sold it sooner. But if we go into here, paper is going to pull me down 24,000 per delivery. He got that, and I'm hoping to get this. His stock price is actually going to increase pretty sharply, so I'm going to take advantage of this. And I'm going to put down a second annex here. Alter his route. So now I'm going to be pulling from two different locations. This way, I'm also going to double track uh, the Spokane terminal. I want to get some money. And with this one, you're going to have... And I think no matter how you play it, you're going to have to start uh, selling stuff early. Okay, timber. Okay, wood prices are at 14000 They're going to climb pretty fast, and I like that. That's a good thing. Hmm, it's odd. Okay, now I'm a town. Spokane can now take in. Whoops. Moses Lake needs coal. That's actually pretty close to us. He's right here. Uh, coal is available down here, off to the side. And I do see that uh, someone, Jay Gould, has now hooked up Seattle with that. So. Unfortunately, the way the map is set up, I probably would have tried to bring the train down to Moses Lake. Moses Lake in Washington geography is pretty close to on the line with uh, Seattle and Spokane. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. I'm going to take so much pleasure in getting rid of you. And right now, I'm going to... Yes. Yes. I want to get this, obvious, for obvious reasons. I need the extra pulling power. I'm also going to buy up more of my stock. Again, obvious reasons on that one. I'm going to start building out slowly... So I can go through this pass and make my way down. I can either hook up into Vancouver. More likely, I'm going to come around and swing into Seattle and kind of hook up over here on that front. All right, where are we at? Um, manufactured goods. Wood prices are back down. Kind of sucks. Let's uh, just do that. It'll reorder everything. Things are pretty good cash right now. Um, looks like Jim Hill's buying into Jay Gould, which is fine, because they're my main two lines of competition. Morgan is off doing his own thing. I'm not worried about him right now. Uh, let's go to the victory screen, see how we're doing so far. Um, I need to... Actually, I'm going to get the lumber stuff pretty quick. That's good. Big hook... The big hitching point is I need to clear out Boise. So Jim Hill has to be the main target for me. JP Port Morgan, though, he's making it, he's gonna make it tough to buy him out. And I'm a little concerned on that front. Go ahead and, uh. 
know what? I could probably just go straight into Seattle from here. I'm actually okay with that. Just spending a crap load of money to tunnel into Seattle. Alright, and Jay is going for me now, so I may have to uh, change tack here. Come on. It's going to cost about 300000 to make that play, so I'm just going to have to save up for a bit. Okay, Jim's going to J. I'm not going to go beyond that for the bid. I'll let them fight it out. Alright, now I'm already concerned because they're going for me pretty fast. That was a quick auction. Right, I just need one delivery load and I can connect Seattle and Spokane. Still don't have enough to even hook up Seattle via that, but I do have access to the grain company. Do I? Can I build an annex? No, I'm just off the mark. Crap. That was actually a bad placement on my part. Now I could swing in and go for that. Go ahead and drop a depot down in Seattle. Oh, they're now supplying, uh, that's easy. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Everybody's, I think people smell blood in the water for me right now. Ah, but don't count me out just yet. As they, as they buy more stock, my stock gets more value. So I can start, uh... I'm going to start playing around and schooling people here. Hmm. Alright, Spokane is already a city. And you got to grow two from villages and metropolises. This is just a town right now. Jay's bought into some of my stock. A little concerning. There we go. I'm actually going to hook these up. Make it a little easier for me to do some buy-in. But note, my stock is now worth quite a bit. No idea why this one decided to go this route. That was actually a pretty dumb uh, play on that one. As soon as he clears this track, I'll get rid of it. That one, uh, that was a mistake. So the speed record. Nice. Let's go ahead and get rid of that track. Oh, there's my train coming back. He's moving quick. So it looks like it's going to be a two-way fight between Jay and... Well, Jay. To buy me out. Hmm. Wasn't expecting this to happen so early in the game. No, that's not going to help me any. Huh. And since I cannot connect into Boise efficiently, it's not going to make sense for me to do it. I need to buy out Jim. So that's what I'm going to do. And having one train track between Missoula and, uh... That's fine. Alright, all my stock has been purchased. A little bit of a concern. Not too much, though. I'm not, uh, more... I'm not really worried yet. I'm getting there, though. So they're buying up all my stock. Which allows me to buy up some of their stock. 
Note that I'm going for Jim Hill first, because Jim Hill already has a share in Jay Gould. In fact, I should. I'm actually going to liquidate what I got in Jim Hill, and I'm going to get it in Jay Pierpont Morgan. As much as I don't want to do it, I need to. Yes. Now, if I'm doing this right, and I'm really not sure that I am now. Fossil, the town that was uh, just like, oh yeah, we need a little bit of coal. They're already a metropolis. They became a metropolis before I did. Before any of my cities. Huh. Where's my victory screen at right now? 17 years for that. I really need to start moving more people to Seattle. And I can do that with the train I have. Let's delete that stop. Delete that stop. Just going to go Spokane to Seattle. That's it. Alright. Now these two have all of my, all of my shares tied up. Now... One of them has to get enough money to buy me out. Uh, this is a gamble, mind you. Usually, I'm very uncomfortable being in this situation. Tempted to actually buy up this newspaper, but at the same time... Okay, JP from Morgan is now buying up everybody else, so... Not super, super worried yet. So these... Okay, so everybody's starting to kind of... Go at each other. I'm gonna buy the newspaper in Lewiston. If somebody else gets it, all the stops applying. Another track would be smart here. Unfortunately, I'm not smart. Alright. You need food. Yeah. We're gonna make this happen. Yeah, the steel mill and fossil is very profitable right now. Make no mistake on that. So I want to hook up both of these. Wait, do they need coal? Yeah, they need coal. Crap, who needs oil? Spokane needs oil. I can work with this. I can work with this. Swing this around here. There we go. Annex. Annex. Depot. Delete that stop. You're going to start here. And I'm completely out of money, so I cannot uh, buy this little sliver of track that I need to hook everything up. There we go. So, as soon as I have the money, I'll go ahead and buy up the food plant to make more, to start making more money. Damn you, Jay, you bitch. <laughs> I'm also going to buy the refinery in Spokane with no promises to actually deliver, de deliver anything to it. If somebody else gets it, I'm not going to deliver it. Alright then. Somebody else is gonna get it. So I actually don't have to deliver anything to this because J. 
J.P. Point Morgan owns it for now. If I'm able to buy him out, I just turn around and get that money back. I'll let, the, I'll let them fight over this stuff. So the buying price for J.P. Point Morgan's amazing. Admittedly, wow, he he doubled up on my uh, tunnels. That's impressive. This is all he has. He's got the automobile factory in Bend. He's got the steel mill in Fossil. He's grown Jordan Valley. And he, oh wait, he has connected to Boise. Is he connected to Boise? No, this is Jim. Okay. There's overlapping tracks here. There's a terminal here and a station there. That's what's throwing me off. So these two are now fighting over each other. Green and red. These two are fighting over each other. That's why Jay Gould is in such a uh, pickle right now. But if I can get J.P. Print Morgan, I get most of my stock back. I get a big chunk of Jay Gould. I'll liquidate that, buy a Jim Hill. Or just buy out Jay Gould, turn around and hit Jim Hill. And I win all of them. It works. I'm surprised that the uh, paper mill is no long, is not a large paper mill yet. Uh, I'm going to actually upgrade this. Yeah, I've got coal here. That is a very profitable furniture plant that I want nothing to do with. I've got my objective. I just have to get there. Hmm. Can I? I'm actually delete this section of track. I'm gonna build the double. I'm gonna double it up on the other side. As soon as Moses Lake grows to be a town, I will connect it to Lewiston. I'll throw a token bid down for that. Hook that up there. There we go. That way, if I need to connect the three... Oh, good. Moses Lake and Lewiston are now towns. Awesome. There we go. All right. The power plant in Boise. Ooh. I do want that one, but if JP or Prime Morgan gets it, I'll just take it when I get it, when I take him over. It'll work. Boise, though, is not a metropolis. It's just a city right now. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to make this. Darn, sad face. All right, so I'm not going to get a perfect playthrough on this one, but I still think um, it could be worse. Uh, by so yeah, by eight, 1930. Oh wow, I actually need to get 30. I need to accelerate my plans. Can I go underneath? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to buy the newspaper in Boise. So we got that. We're now in the 1900s. This train, I'm going to delete that and take him to here. Bit of a kick in the head, but I need the papers going here. What I'll also do is upgrade this train to a consolidation. This one also. This is a 260 mobile that is ancient by even railroad standards. Since I do have the ability to do it. I'm still going to feed some paper to the Lewiston newspaper. What's going on with paper prices? All right, they're starting to slide a little bit. That's fine. Automobiles, note, 61,000 for automobiles right now.
I'm actually going to run a double track all the way to Boise. And then that one train that will end up taking the stuff to Boise, I want it to have its own separate uh, track. Alright, so. I've got 30 of 100 to Seattle. I can up that. Let's take the Spokane Comets. I'm going to change... I'm just going to do five and three. Automobile factory in Bend, making a crap load of money. No, ever since um, the thing with my stock, uh, with the stocks happened a while ago in this episode, nothing's really changed. I can buy back into my stock. In fact, I'm going to buy into my stock to see if anybody else will buy it. And then I can sell it, turn a quick profit on it. I st I'm ten million dollars away from hitting my goal and knocking out J. Pierpoint Morgan, and that'll hopefully pin the wheel into the other things I need. The refinery in Bend, not not interested. Quickly, this one became a city. Thankfully, I have enough uh, lumber going in. I don't know why that train decided to go here, but he did. The city's just making money hand over fist for me. I am looking at the time right now. I'm at the 30-minute mark, so I am unable to finish the scenario in this video. Next video, I'm going to keep trying on it. I do want to try to knock out everybody else, but this is a harder mission like it was stated earlier on. Um, I need to move four more train loads to Boise. I need to probably move, let's see, 40, 100 minus 40 is 60 divided by five. 12 more train loads of passengers to Seattle. It can be done. Will I get the 25 million in value? That's questionable. And uh, since you're now, I'm gonna upgrade you to a station. You can do steel. I'm trying to figure out if I can or should hook into that coal up there. I probably could go over this, then head up that way. You know what? Let's set that up, and then I'll wrap up the video here. Because if I can somehow make this happen, I'm going to feel pretty good about myself. Let's do that. Take over to this. And of course, these texts are coming out right as I don't need them. Jay Gould's out! Oh, that is a problem for me, big time. So, he now has... So Jay Gould's out of it. He now has enough to hit Jim Hill. And he just bought all my stock. Um, I'm not going to end the video here, because I'm going to be out of this video in a moment. <laughs> Um, I'm going to stay in this video because I'm about to lose. So, yeah, this is going to be a one-parter. I was hoping I could, uh, pull off a success here, but, uh, him with the um, sheer amount of cash he has. How much does he have here? Okay, cash. This is a page I haven't shown you before. Um, he's going to buy me out here in a couple of minutes. So he has 1.8 million in cash. I've got 3 million. Jim Hill has 6 million in cash. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the ability to knock out any of these stocks. I mean, I could sell my stock off, but it's not going to do much for me. I need the stock. So I'm going to stick with it till the end. Unfortunately, I was really hoping I could pull this one out. I think if you end up uh, picking up this game and doing this scenario, keep doing, keep rolling until you get Boise as a start and you have the paper mill. Or not the paper mill, but you have the newspaper. Because right there, you're already going to have two things. You're going to have everything lining up for you. 
if, and I've played it, where Lewiston has a paper mill. So I just go Lewiston, you know, Boise to Lewiston to paper mill. That's all I do. Just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm actually now going to bid for these things because it's it's now trying to keep the money out of Pierpoint Morgan's hands. And that was that was my critical mistake, is I should have been going for these buildings, even though I wasn't hooked up to them. Because that's the only way you're going to make a shitload of money off of it. Is if you're hooking into these things. So I am now creating steel. You need to be moving that stuff there. Automobile factory here. Now he's trying to buy the steel mill out that I'm using. Getting 16 million right now, it's out of it's it's impossible. So right now I'm just waiting for the inevitable. Oh wow. Whew, this is gonna hurt. And he's gonna buy me out, so he now controls 80 plus percent of the rails out there. Let's just end it. Put me out of my misery. And you know what? I'm pulling in some decent cash on these train loads. Too little, too late. I think I just getting that slow start out of Spokane didn't help me at all. All right, JPM wins. Let's see, do I get? Yeah. I mean, I'm, right now it's it's all over but the crying. You know, this is a... The Olympia Steel Mill is on the south side of the Columbia River. Don't ask. Yeah, he controls all of these tracks. This giant-ass mess. At least I try to keep mine neat. Let's see, 68 carloads of passengers. Delivery bonus. Oh, come on, JPM. What are you waiting for? Do it. I was really hoping I could have bought JPM out. Dude, I need this more than you. Come on. Thank you. Like I said, doesn't matter much. But still. I will load up all the uh all the automobiles that I'm getting out of Lewiston just for S and G's. Forty six, what the hell? Ugh. Couldn't have been going at uh 61 when I wanted them. Seriously, what's this guy waiting on? Okay, Moses Lake Steel Mill is now medium size. That's good for me. Uh, this grain company, I'm waiting for the coal annex to, uh, I'm waiting for that coal annex to actually start making more money for me. Or producing more for me. Go ahead and upgrade him. Yay, more money coming in. So, industries. I don't think I've actually gone over this yet. So, a small industry, when you first build one or you first buy it, it'll hold up to 
eight of a good, but it also gives you 20% of the thing that you bring into it. So the newspaper initially was only producing 20% of the profit that I was getting. When it's a medium, you get 35% of that good, and a large is 50%. This is a small steel mill, small, medium, medium. I actually don't have anything. This is the Boise newspaper, actually. It's a medium, but it's still not profitable for me. Uh, the P5A, get an electronic, uh, electric train now. And if I wanted to, I could just upgrade everything I got, but what's the point? Okay, Vancouver Minerals Limited, I think it's this one. Yeah! Now it produces eight. And it'll uh, actually make them a little faster for me. I've got the steel mill, but I don't have the cannery. Yeah. Many, many mistakes were made in this playthrough. Um, yeah, I'll go for that. We'll go for 100. I'll go for 110. We'll go for 160. we will go to 220. I'll push to 230. Then I'll start uh, doing it by 10s. Oh! I'll be damned. Yeah, my, uh, basically this paper mill, the, the paper mill is large. So this one is actually the first one I got. That one's actually doing a lot for me. It's very unlikely that anything's going to happen from this. Seriously, who's waiting? I'm going to upgrade you to a uh, P5A. A little surprised that uh, JPM has not expanded up to Lewis, and he may not be able to based on the... Uh... There we go. Now I got bought out. Finally. Damn. All right. So, did not win this one. Mayor. Let's see. That's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 8th place. On this one, above that steamship owner, bank president, congressman, president of a railroad trust, stock exchange, general of the armies, and POTUS. I think had I actually won this one, I probably would have been like in these two, general of the armies, or president of the stock exchange. Could have done better. Could have done worse. I could have not been knocked out before 1900. But uh, that one, take, give that one a shot. Let me know how you do with it. it you want to start in Boise. That's your best role for this one. Unless you're in Bend and you can just hook over to it real fast. Getting to Seattle is trickier with Boise. But you can grow two things in, on this side of the map very quickly. Hook over to Seattle and just start throwing passengers at it and making it happen. Next week, we're going to go to Great Britain. We're actually going to do the old school. This is the original, the world's first railroad. This one, of course, you do need to get a good roll on it as well. And we'll take a look at that in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.